How to use Windows Movie Maker. The first thing you need to do are, is to bring in videos and you can also bring in pictures. I brought in a couple of images there and I brought in a video there. But let's, let's show you what you need to do. Video. I'll go up to where I've got some videos. They are movie double click onto it and you saw it brought it in there. Now the next thing is to drag it. I'm going to drag it down to there. Now if I come down here I've got another one there so I can drag that down to there. I've also got a couple of pictures and you, you bring those in in the same way so I'll bring that one down there and I'll bring that one Let's see if I can rearrange the order. You see that? I just push it around and I'll bring that one down to there. Let's see if I can move that one to there, that one to there, and then bring that one to there. Now there you are. You see I can just drag it down. Now I could just play these straight. If I click back to there, press onto there you can see that what it's doing is to work through all of these four. Alright, there's the first one, there's the second, there's the third, and finally there's the fourth. Okay, so I've got two pictures there, one, two, and two videos. In between the videos there are some transition points. How you move from between. Look at this. If I move there then I can click down and bring in transition. There are all manner of transitions but I'll just put these this ones here because I've got that one here. So this is how to move between your videos. Now let's just show you once more. I'm here, here, you see that? That was transition. And again, that's transition. I'm going to stop there. The next thing you can do is add audio. Alright. Now what have I got there? If I click onto there, the trouble is, if I go onto this, no, fortunately. Let's see if I've got any music there. Sample music. Let's take that. Now, if you look here and you move to a timeline, now, what I can do is to drag my music right down at the bottom of the timeline. So now, it will play in the background when I go to this. I'll go back from my timeline to my storyboard you can't see it, but the music is there. Alright, the next thing is to put some titles in. OK, so I click onto there. And up comes title at the beginning. My film. Add title. That'll do. Now, of course, I can put a film at the end, a title at the end, thank you to, and all the rest of it. Having done all of that, then I can play it. Okay, there it is. Now, finally, when I've completed this, I can then publish this to this computer. And so I've got to go through a long, not a long, but depending on how long the film is, I need to save it. Okay. 
I'm not going to say this. Before you use this in some other program, such as PowerPoint or on the web, you need to go through this process. I'm not going to do that. I'm actually going to finish there. I've given you a br brief introduction on how to use Movie Maker. Thank you.